Guys, Dan the Wolfman here, and today what we're going to do is we're going to watch Ganrujima Taekwondo versus Boxing, style versus style. Oh my god, what is Ganrujima? Who the hell knows? I only lived in Japan about a year and a half. I don't know. Do the promoters know? The promoters don't know. Let's watch and try and figure this crazy thing out. All right, I don't know. We got a ring. We got a ring of death. Representing Earth. This is going to be between Kazuhisa Charisma Watanabe, a What is going on here? Yes, a very uh, strong opposition between three sports that are all. We got this guy over here versus this other guy over here. Taekwondo versus boxing. And uh, they are specialists with the legs. Watanabe versus Chain and So. They are very, very strong with the legs. It's got this crazy ring. We got a misty moat. We got some alligators, perhaps some dinosaurs. Why? Because Japan. That's why. Ah, so desne. So. Here we go. There's Watanabe, the boxer. Looking pretty tough there in a sleeveless Ryu Kengi. I was rocking a gi like that myself back in the day and even in one of my pro wrestling matches. All right, here we go. Watanabe on the left in black boxing. A nice deep bow from the Korean Chin Moon Yun Yun Su. So, and, uh, he says, Anya Haseyo, let's see if he's got some good kicks. So, I think we can punch. I think we can kick. I think we can go to the ground. I think it's MMA in a ring, except there's not a ring because it's a moat. It's 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 uh, Mortal Kombat for real because you can shove the guy outside. They're trying to make sumo great again. All right. Let's try to figure out these friggin' rules as we go along. After that opening display, we got a lot of posturing going on from the boxer. He's got some crazy eyes, man. He has got some crazy eyes. Do you think he's gonna get Taekwondo kicked in the head? Oh wait, he's the one that looks like he jumps in with a flying kick and a takedown by the Korean in the mount. Uh, bridge roll reversal. Now they're standing up, going for that headlock hip throw there, trying to position now towards the edge of the mat. We get a nice lateral drop and one nasty hammer fist. A good up kick going to a triangle choke. Diamond position here. Easily picked up and deleted. Going for an ankle lock. So apparently you can win by submission. KO, TKO, and a combination of uh, I don't know how many ring outs. If you shove the guy, I don't know if it's an instant death or there's spikes or there punji sticks covered with feces like in Vietnam. I don't know what's going on. Who knows? What's through that mist? You can't see it. It's got to be pretty scary the first time you're in there. Exactly. Oh, a Sanchai kick in the head to a leg lock. That doesn't look like boxing to me. Wait a minute. I never learned that from any of my boxing coaches. I didn't know you could Sanchai kick into a leg lock in boxing. Got a double knee right on the face. Catch Jitsu style here. And the Taekwondo guy now spins around, a side mount on top, and a stand-up. Who knows? Is it 15 seconds on the ground? Is it constant action? Is it totally arbitrary because it's Japan? I don't know. Is this guy a god coming down? Actually, I think I know that guy referee from commentating Pancrase there in Japan when I was there. And somehow the boxers with the big takedowns again. I swear to God, right there on the screen, it says boxing versus taekwondo. We got a knee to the side, GSP versus Matt Sarah style. A little bit of a throat grab there, like in that. Not like I would ever do that in jujitsu. You're trying to climb your legs up. <laughs> we saw a backside kick attempt there, and now uh, looks like the boxer's getting the better of the throwing here in a half guard. See if he can land some hammer fist before the uh, god of thunder and lightning stands him up again. And he just goes ahead and stands up. But man, I want to get me one of those sleeveless and short skis. Now, I had a century sleeveless blue gi I, I used to love quite a bit. I've chopped off the sleeves on my gis to make them last even longer. Is this guy really tight? One of those guys falling on his butt with that spinning hook kick. Going for some punches here to the stock exchange. Let's see if these guys start to get busy. 
But it is interesting. He grabbed that key and Shin Karate style. Oh, he knocks him down with the right hand. Turns it over well. Says, get on up, brother. So, 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 so. And the boxer's kicking again. Is he really a boxer? Are we just labeling people stuff? End of round one. I don't know if anyone gets any points. I'm leaning towards the boxer with his Sanchai kick to leg lock attempt. What is going on here, folks? What is Ganrujima? We see a flying gorilla takedown super mount bridge trap and roll. Who knows what's going on here? Now, that is a nice sidewalk slam. Oh, a right hand counter lands there against the spinning pimp slap. Oh, a right hand cork and overhand. Boom! Knocks him down. Ta Taekwondo boy was saying, come on down. I don't know. Maybe he thinks he's got the better jujitsu skills. I don't know how that happens with boxing versus Taekwondo. All right, let's see what goes in around two. I want to see a guy get pushed out. Is he going to get like a spike through his chest? Is an alligator going to bite him? I don't know what's going to happen here. Ganru Jima, Samurai Warriors. And the fighters are both back on the ring for round two. Let's see if this will decide the match. We can see there is Ooh. No blur Man, the boxer's got some crazy eyes. Does that Watanabe? Watanabe can't wait to get started. And oh, it looks like he was gonna come in with a flying something again. I see no jab. I see no boxing guard. There we go. The hands are kind of up. He's gauging distance here, doing some pulls, little false leads. I've been known to do that once or twice myself. Comes in here with the double unders. Let's see if he can get a suplex out of the mat. Throw him. Throw him to the pit of death. Come on, throw him. Oh, and he gets tripped down himself in a side control. Hammer fist. You know, good right punch from the Taekwondo guy. Oh, almost falls out in the pit of death. We almost saw a fatality. Oh, we almost saw a fatality. No, he's limping it off. Walk it off, boy. Oh, he hurt his leg falling down. Man, did he break his ankle falling down? The pit of despair? Looks like he poured hot sauce on his groin there or something. I'm not sure what happened. Oh, oh, he is... He's he's toast. I think I think the boxer's out of this one, guys. I don't think he's gonna be able to continue. Is he continuing? It looks like it. We got a belt grab here. Now this changes everything, right? You can do those sambo throws, the sumo throws with the belt. Take down in a guard again. We're not seeing a lot of boxing and Taekwondo skills, though, are we? I mean, it's almost like when anything goes, anything goes. It's almost like when it's a street fight or an MMA fight, when you're not constrained by the confines of too many rules, that a fight looks like a fight. Oh, that left round kick to the head. Did that land? That was pretty snappy. We see some crap jitsu here going on the ground with some poor grappling Nawaza skills. Look like you gave him all five seconds. Was that a five seconds? It's Nissan Shi. Go. Was that it? Five seconds on the ground to land ground pound. Go for Oh, front kicked him in the friggin' face. And he's down. He front kicked him like a boot kick to the face. That's some that's some big brother ground and pound here. He's just standing over him and launching full straight punches down. It's not something you get to see every day in regular boring MMA. Oh zombie coming. He just defends a Geethi choke by lifting his head. He just says that ain't gonna choke me. He went zombie of death on him here. See if he can punch him in the nads, Keith Hackney style, like that nasty person that deserved it that's now dead. Oh, but he throws him over. A sumigashi throw doesn't quite happen with a enough precision to get him over. The Korean lands on top. 
Ooh. Goes for some ground and pound. Full five second stand up. It looks like, man, I would prefer more 15 or 20 seconds myself. But, you know, they might be making it up as they go along. Oh, this guy's, this guy's, oh, his leg is messed up something fierce. He's in the moat. The monster's coming out. We got some evil spirits here. Let's see what happens. Does his leg fold over him here? He's trying to launch him out. And his right foot plants and then kind of hops down. And it looks like maybe a torn ligament in the knee. Oh, my goodness. Guys, I don't know if he's going to be able to go on here. Oh, it looks like they're stopping the fight. He's angry. He was going... Oh, they're stopping the fight on him. They're stopping the fight on him. He was going full zombie. He didn't care. He was going to rip his leg off and beat the guy with it. But I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, he pawned. I think that's it, guys. Is that a win for Taekwondo? <laughs> Can you call that a win for Taekwondo? Was it won by a Taekwondo kick? I mean, they have punches to Taekwondo. I don't know. I didn't see any Pumzes there. I saw a couple kicks. I saw some weird flying attacks. Sanchai kicked to a leg lock by a boxer. Guys, this is the craziness that is Gangujima and making me miss living in Japan. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thumbs up, share, subscribe. Do you want to see more of these? Get down there in the comments below. Let's see some more style over style action while you teenagers with your wealth of experience of one class ever in your life at nine years old can tell me which style was the best because you're such experts let me know down below if you really want to know how to fight guys look at my playlist where i teach everything about martial arts in the past when i was a little bit younger i taught you all the good news.